Hello, my name is Nicole Hartley Bradford, and I am the originator of Awakening the Village. And Awakening the Village is my project, my experiment, my series of experiments in helping Gaia's risky human experiment to succeed. And I focus on single mothers because I am a single mother myself. Empowering single mothers is my life's purpose. Empowering them to create village for themselves and to cultivate an inner village that helps to draw in the village that they need to raise their children in and to give them the, the support, the community, the empowerment, the connection, the love and the constant experience of expanding and evolving during their lifetimes. And one of the most fundamental parts of, of being empowered and empowering others is to be present, to be centered and grounded and to be in a distinct personal space. And this video is about walking you through the steps of getting into what I call first position. Some of this process comes from my own lived experience and some of it comes from possibility management, which is a collection of distinctions, maps, tools, and processes that empower transformation and the creation of next culture that we call archiarchy, where archetypal men and women collaborate and co-create to bring in more fully, to embody the next culture on earth. So in order to get into first position, it helps to either sit down or stand with your feet planted firmly on the ground, or at least your sit bones planted firmly on the ground. And check in with your body, say hello to it, be ever more present and connected with your body. You can scan it from head to toe, foot to head. Just notice it. Notice what you haven't been noticing before you started noticing it. And this builds your noticing muscle, your attention, your inner attention muscle. And you might notice that your body wants to take a deep breath. It might want to shift in order to plant itself ever more firmly on the surface of the earth. Now I invite you to focus your attention on the physical center of your physical body, a grapefruit sized piece of your physical body or space in your physical body that is about the size of a grapefruit and is located between your hip bones and between the front and back of your body, just in front of your spine. And just notice that space your physical center. And now shift your attention to noticing where your attention is, where the traces of your attention are and have been. Your energetic body center can be split and spread through time and space. And noticing where you've let it go to, where you haven't pulled it back from, is part of creating an ever more empowered state of being centered. So use your intention now to draw in any strands of energetic attention that you have let out and not brought back yet. Draw it in like you're, you're reeling in the line of a fishing reel or, or, or rolling up a ball of yarn that pulls the end of the yarn ever closer, ever more into your physical center. Think of the people, the places, the regrets, the worries, anywhere you've put your attention, draw it in. It's your attention and you can have it here and now.
and next. I invite you to use a snap of your fingers or a tap on your thigh to punctuate, to emphasize this next declaration, which is that you are grounded. And you can declare that you have a grounding cord that connects your physical and energetic center with the physical and energetic center core of the earth. And with your energetic eyes, you can look at this cord and you can notice that it is a two-way communication connection. You can notice it has a texture and a color. And you can declare this color. My grounding cord right now is a, as a silver blue. And it's sparkly. This is so far the energetic experience you're having of being centered and grounded. And we will add one more piece, and that is the bubble of personal space. So again, using a snap of your finger or a clap on your leg, declare that you have, in all directions around you, a spherical bubble of space. And it doesn't even have to be spherical. It can be what shape you want. It can be as close or far away as you want. And I encourage you to experiment with this, to find out where the edges of your bubble want to be, where it works best for them to be. You can also use your energetic eyes and your energetic senses to feel it, to feel its texture, to notice any color it has, to notice its clarity. Your energy, your essence, your emotions, your thoughts, your physical body can be inside this bubble while everything else is outside it. And now this is the experience of being centered, grounded, and bubbled in first position. And I invite you to keep your attention, keep some of your attention on yourself while you open your eyes and let your attention be a, a receptive kind of, have a receptive quality, noticing what's around you in the location that you are. There are many more distinctions that you can add to first position. As you get more adept at being in first position, there are, there are additional experiments that will help you to be more centered, grounded, and bubbled, and more in your on purpose, more aware of the village inside and the possibilities for village outside, possibilities for action to take, to create more and more resilient, authentic, and empowering inner and outer village. And if you would like any more about any of this, please get in touch with me. I would love to have a discovery call with you about finding out what your next steps could be, what your next experiment could be. For now, I invite you to do the experiment of getting into first position, either through listening to this video or walking yourself through it at least three times a day for one week and see what happens. Just notice. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you will share it with anyone else that you think could use this kind of empowerment and I'm on your team, being on the team to help Gaia's risky human experiment to succeed. Bye for now.